Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law is named after the British physicist Robert Hooke and is one of the basic principles of elasticity. It states that the force required to extend or compress a spring is proportional to the distance it is extended or compressed from its rest position. Mathematically, we can write Hooke's Law as F is directly proportional to X. F equals constant X. F equals KX. Where F is the applied force, and X is displacement of the spring from rest position and K is spring constant. Which is defined as the characteristic of a spring which measures the ratio of the force affecting the spring to the displacement caused by it. Or, it describes how stiff a spring is and how much it will stretch or compress. Let's start by examining a single spring. We have a spring with a spring constant of 100 Newton per meter. This means that the force required to extend or compress this spring by 1 meter will be 100 N. Now, let's apply a force of 10 Newton to the spring. According to Hooke's law, the displacement of the spring will be proportional to the applied force. So, the spring will extend by 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters. If we increase the force to 20 Newton, the spring will extend by 0.2 meters or 20 centimeters. On 30 Newton the displacement is 0.3 meter and on 40 Newton it is 0.4 meter and so on 100 Newton force the displacement is 1 meter. This means that if we plot the force versus the displacement of the spring, we will get a straight line, with a slope equal to the spring constant. Now, let's increase the spring constant to 200 Newton per meter and apply the same forces. As expected, the displacement of the spring is less than the previous spring. For example, applying a force of 10 Newton only cause a displacement of 0.05 meters or 5 centimeters. And on 100 Newton's force the displacement is 0.5 meter or 50 centimeters. This demonstrates that the greater the spring constant, the more force is required to extend or compress the spring by a given distance. Similarly, the smaller the spring constant, the less force is required to extend or compress the spring by the same distance. So, that's a brief introduction to Hooke's law and how it applies to springs with different spring constants. Remember, the force required to extend or compress a spring is proportional to the distance it is extended or compressed from its rest position, and the proportionality constant is the spring constant. Understanding Hooke's law is essential for anyone interested in studying physics or engineering. Thank you for watching.